We love checking in with our friends from Merkel Retirement Planning and Anna Marie Morrill is joining us once again this morning as we talk a little bit more in depth about Medicare and Medicare coverage this morning. And uh, Anna Marie, how are you doing this morning? Are you ready for a great week? I'm good. I'm so ready. How are you doing, Lou? Uh, we are doing great. So uh, we're going to find out what is going on in the world of Medicare coverage. Now, first, let's talk about uh, original Medicare and why some people say original Medicare may not really be enough. It's not a lot very similar to how Social Security was not created to be retirees sole form of income. Original Medicare was not built to be retirees sole form of health care. There's a lot of unexpected cost gaps to where you're going to be paying a lot out of pocket with no out of pocket max. So that is really what drives and demands that discussion about supplemental coverage. All right. So these gaps need to be uh, taken care of. So well, what are some of the, the plans that are in place that can kind of supplement some of these gaps? Yeah, the most popular two, we're going to be talking about Medigap, which is also known as those traditional supplements, which are those lettered plans, F, G, L, M, N, O, K, just so many different letters. And then the opposite side of that same coin are those Advantage plans that we hear about, which have all those shiny, shiny silvery bells and whistles of you know, some have dental involved, they include a drug card, they include free gym memberships on some of them as well. So they are exact, they function exactly opposite of one another, which is why you really want to understand the pros and cons of each and get familiar with that so that when you do go to make that decision, you're comfortable with it and you know what you are getting and what to expect out of the plan that you're on. All right, well, what are some of the things you can expect if you have one of the Medigap uh, plans? Yeah, so for traditional supplements, the letters, each letter represents what type of coverage will be uh, taken care of outside of original Medicare. So, for example, Plan F, it takes care of all of your uh, excess charges, your co-pays, your deductibles, known as the Cadillac of all plans. So naturally, it's no longer available. So if you turn 65 after January 1st of 2020, but then you look at Plan G, which covers those co-pays as well, with one exception, a deductible, but you know exactly what your monthly premiums are and you're able to budget for it. So you have security as far as cost goes, you know exactly what's gonna be covered with each lettered plan, just understanding what you would be held accountable for if something should happen. Yeah, so you really should uh, you know, sit down and do the math for those. And now let's talk about the other plans that you're talking about, the all shiny ones that you see uh, advertised all the time. Yeah, those shiny plans, that's what we're seeing a lot of infomercials about. They advertise, a lot of them advertise a $0 premium which is kind of mind blowing when you see that they do include dental, vision, hearing, chiropractic care. Every plan is different, but they have a $0 premium or a very low premium. So you really wanna understand how those plans work because you do pay as you go up until that plan's out of pocket maximum. So it behaves very much like what we're used to on our employer plans. They're based off of a network, they're PPOs or HMOs. So you also wanna make sure your doctors are in network. So you can see they behave so much differently than those traditional plans that a lot of people are used to. Yeah, that sounds like something you should probably really sit down and talk to somebody about. And I bet you have an idea of where somebody can sit down and talk to somebody about this. Yeah, absolutely. That's a part of our retirement planning that we do here at Merkle Retirement Planning. But also we have Medicare workshops. So we have one coming up tomorrow night and we really do break it down to understanding what is original Medicare? What are these supplements that I'm getting inundated with all of this mail and information about? Do I need a drug card? We go through all of that. And with all of these decisions that you have to make in retirement, it really benefits to make informed decisions when you do sit down with a planner or an agent to consolidate and build a plan to where those decisions can help guide the big decisions that you need to make. Right, and MerkelPlan.com is where you go to make those. A sign up for the workshop, uh, which is happening tomorrow, or make an appointment to visit with a specialist there at Merkel Retirement Planning. Anna Marie Morrow, great information as always, and you have yourself an incredible week. Thank you, Lou. You do the same. All right.